Hello my family members. In this session, we are going to solve two coding questions which was asked on 7th August Accenture on campus drive. So hang tight and watch till the end. Before we proceed, I would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding all previous year coding questions that I have been solving, right? Okay, let's see what's the question first. <music> So the first question is uh, regarding a happy number, right? So a number is called happy if it leads to one after a sequence of steps wherein each step num number is replaced by the sum of squares of its digit. That is if we start with happy number and keep replacing it with digits square sum, uh, then we reach one. Ex there is an example, right? Uh, you can see the example I am not explaining briefly just look at here carefully if we started uh, uh, actually squaring each digit and storing the values of uh, the sum in a separate array or set and then again if we square them and and we repeat the process and after all if we get one as sum of the squares then we will tell that the number is happy number right so in this case 19 is happy number and 20 is not right okay let's see uh, the code right at first let me write the code first then i will explain the code right so at first let me write another function which is actually required uh, several time right so n uh, and total is equal to 0 and while n greater than 0 right uh, so digit is equal to n mod 10 is uh, the remainder right and total plus is equal to digit um, 2 right and n by y is equal to 10 right and just return the total then we will get the sum of the square right and let's take the actual function that is def each happy number sorry each happy number uh, the input is num and let's take a, take a set right while check while num not equal to not equal to 0 sorry 1 and num not in scene right then scene dot add num and num is equal to square sum right square sum of the num right and just return num is equal to is equal to 1 and i think this should be okay okay let me write the driver code that is num is equal to int input and uh, if is happy num then uh, we will print what we will print true or if false then we will print false right so if is happy then print true otherwise we'll print false right Okay, I think uh, this is okay with the code. So let's run the code, right? So I hope this would be okay. So 19 is the uh, 19 is the happy number, right? So two, let's run the 20 as input. Uh, this is false, right? So I think uh, you have understood this. Okay, let me explain that this function square sum uh, takes an integer n and 
calculates the sum of the squares of its digit right and it uses a loop uh, which is iterating uh, through each digit of the number right and the mod operator is used to get the last digit right and the operator by by it is used to take the integer integer value right and here the digit square is being added to the total variable right and at the end the total is returned and actual function that is each happy number uh, where uh, which is determines whether a given number is happy number or not right it used a set uh, called scene to keep track of numbers encountered during the process right the loop actually continue as long as the number not equal to one and number not in the scene set right and inside the loop the current number is added to the scene set and then the square sum function is applied uh, to the gate to get the next sum right next sum in the sequence right and then uh, this way actually it is returning here uh, returning the num is equal to is equal to one that means if true then it will return true i mean print true and if it is not one or it does not satisfy then it will print false right so this way it is working right okay let's go to the next problem uh, that teach i'm explaining the next question is regarding armstrong number right actually you can say that oh this is very easy question how can this come but it was actually uh, appeared in the exam right so this was regarding armstrong number so given an integer input the objective is to check whether or not the given input variable is an armstrong number in order to do so we check whether the sum of the digits of each number uh, each number to the power the length of the number is equal to the number itself or not if the number is the same as the original it is an armstrong number right an example is input sample input 371 it is an armstrong number how if if this can be represented like the, the length is 3 right and each time that means 3 to the power length plus 7 to the power length plus 1 to the power length uh, if the, the sum is equal to 371 then this number is called armstrong number right so i hope you have got what to do right uh, if you can solve the problem then please try to solve by yourself then come to watch right okay i'm solving actually without taking a function i will solve the problem right so let's take the input of the number int input and let's store the number into a temporary variable num and let's take the length or digit right digit sorry digit and the sum is equal to should be initialized as zero right and the length should be the length of str of num right and let's run a for loop for i in range you know length right and the digit should be num mod 10 right num mod 10 but this should be actually integer right okay now just num should be divided like this and sum plus is equal to pow of digit right digit and length L -E -N -G -K -H. if now we will check if sum is equal to is equal to number if so then print armstrong right and if not then print not armstrong 
Armstrong, right? Okay, I hope this will be okay. So, 371 was the number to be checked, right? So, let's run. 371. That is an Armstrong number. Let's take another input. That is, let's say 54. That is not an Armstrong because 5 to the power square is 25 and 4 to the power square is 16. So, 16 plus 25 is equal to 41 and this is not equal to 54 right so this is not an armstrong number so i hope you have got the logic right if you like this session then comment add more right so okay thank you for today's session